I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Hey! Who's that? Everyone all right? Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Abel. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Grapple round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. My men. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory. friend once again i've done ragnarsson we met in the forge of battle surely a good sign i don't know you one of Faroid's new dogs i am eivor of the raven clan eivor yes down in mercia 
kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravit, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donnacaster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Start digging. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Haftal's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Vesia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Avdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the Carls and Chails of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Faravid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I held them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Gwedjard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced smirking glory hound. 
My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance. Sing. Fill yourself with ale. And meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But half didn't need. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Halfden's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Halfden needs me now. <laughs> You should drink good, honest mead, not that bitter Frankish wine. Yo! Small! Paradari! Yo! Fair warning, Joe. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. Well, warrior, but here your legend ends, bound to no name. How true, I King Risha. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orvik Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. Yeah. <gasps> Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Warrior! You can swing an axe. As Thor swallowed the oceans. I can lift many horns and drain them too. A bold claim! I'll drink to that!
My luck overspills like the ocean's tide. Only fate will keep me from winning. Then come and see. What fate do these dice hold for you? Almost got you now. <sighs> Interesting. Put off half of them for too long. 
top of the Tower of Stone, he said. you I wonder. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together. You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal, then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing? If he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend.
Don't let Farragut fool you. He is hiding something. 